What's good? It's your boy Sheem, the head chef. Who's he? Sous chef right there, man. Keep the kitchen clean. About to jump into the bear, man. It's been an amazing series so far. Episode three, we're about to jump into. Last episode was dealing with the non-negotiables, man. So you keep your, uh, your station clean and you get to work. So my man Carmi said. Yep, we have Marcus coming at the end and basically told Carmi like, man, if you all in, I'm all in. Take us there. So we're about to see what the next step is in that process. Make sure you guys head over to the Patreon and check the Patreon out. We are tons weeks ahead in content over there so if you're gonna jump a couple weeks ahead in content get some exclusives head over to the patreon check it out and if you see what you like sub up we also got a link in the description for our discord so if you want to chop it up about the bear or any other series or movie we watch you can do so within the discord jump over to patreon join us a free member and we'll drop the link for our merch if you want to go there check it out and grab something so um yeah we appreciate y'all and without further ado Let's jump back into the bear. Let's get it. Last episode was hectic, so let's see what this one is all about. My dot? Right. Oh, his mom. Oh, uh, might be, yeah. Boy press clean though. That's tough they all came. Fat. Indy. Gary. Army, man. Low as shit. What Richie character growth? Character Bro, development. Him, between him and Tina. Crazy. Like my man Carmi going backwards. Yeah. Just a tad bit. He is shorty, bro. And that's his, his right hand. Man. That's his man's man. Yeah, no cap. E yeah, man, so love. Nah, bro. He, he got just a lot. Fuck with that school. Bro. Nah, he got a lot of shit to make up. She never let me be scared, like worried. She kept things moving, always kept things running. She was nice to everyone. She let me watch R-rated stuff when I was a kid, like like she let me watch RoboCop. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, we ate dinner together a lot. That's Carmi. Like, I know just, that. Being in the kitchen. It's gonna remind him of Mikey. Mikey and like, damn, like I should have been there. She loved flowers. Love, love flowers. Lose one, you get one. That shit crazy. I always felt loved. It didn't matter what was going on or if I was in trouble, even though she couldn't speak. It hurt her. It almost felt sometimes like that communication was better. We really had to pay attention to each other. That lie? No okay. cap. Sister. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I don't know what it's like to be a parent. Damn, I hit Richie hard right there. But I know what it's like to be a kid. And having someone actually really pay attention to you. That was, that was really special. Thank you everyone for being here. You forgot about two Mark. things. One, the pauses that he was taking in between speaking really made the shit hit. Yeah. And then two, that's all people be wanting in life, bro. It's just somebody to pay, pay attention, attention to. Him. So pay attention to your people, man. Feel good? Then you'll see. You feel good? Yeah, we're gonna see. Coke. They're the same Check. person. You wanna call it? Your turn, chef. Every time. Doors! Doors! This episode called Doors too. Thirty. Yeah. Let's turn up. Keep going. Tatsukai. Tatsukai. Asparagus with duck egg and potato. Ravioli with peas and parm mousse. Is everybody good? Yeah. yeah. Great. Let's fucking go. Thank you. Now he actually here today. You're slammed tonight, guys. Totally packed. A couple PONs. We have a 47th birthday at 7 p.m. 7.45, we have an alderman celebrating the anniversary. Uh, that's served with a uh, quail egg and a turnip puree. And and, oh, okay. Uh, that's served with a potato and turnip puree. Egg and potato. Asparagus is served with a quail egg and a potato puree. All right, let's get to work. Service. Yeah. Yeah, we went out to eat the other day, and I was literally like, yo, this is like the bear. Like, I really started paying attention to the chefs and shit or dietary restrictions, or things you just don't really feel like eating. That boy love his job, you heard? Mm. 
P2 shellfish allergy, gluten allergy. Thank you. They still not talking. Shit, free, that, right? that might make the business move a little, a little bit smoother. Wow. Yeah. I couldn't do this. What you mean? You gotta be locked in. Keep it a hundred with y'all. Dropping niggas plates on them and shit. Ends. Bro, yeah, I like that. I like that joint they bring it out on. That little uh, tray. Chikuri, chikuri board, whatever they call that joint. Why Sydney look so on edge? Bro, they like mad people. Shit. Don't. Yeah, but Chef said, I need those wagon. These guys are waiting like half an hour. Right here, Jeff. Perfect. Thank you, Chef Tina. Thank you. No tea. Refire, please. Are you fucking kidding me? It's perfect. The cook's off. Refire. That's I'm getting fucked. <laughs> Richie. Oh, you guys are fucking me. No, for real. Marcus? Chef. Can I get a pair and brief fast? Like yesterday? Thank you, Chef. Hey, Carmen, you fucking cook it then. You they right? said they want that star. You heard Marcus get us there. She got to wait a little bit. Fuck it. You getting some good food. All that shit good when it come out. Nah, he Hands. not playing that drum like the first one he played it. Oh. oh! We cannot fucking keep this up. It's Orwellian. It's dystopian butter? What? What are you talking about? I'm gonna send him 20 fucking grand. It's the best. Oh, yeah. Suck me. They just we gotta start. Get they gotta I see that card. profit, man. And once they see that, they're gonna just all shut their mouth. Doors! Every day, new menu. Yeah, one second. Richie, please. move, please. Yeah, one second. Move, move, move. We have a list. No. I'm getting fucking drilled out there. I'm writing some fucking non negotiables. A willingness to accommodate dietary restrictions? That's not on the list. That's important. Joy, just in general. <laughs> It's a waste of my time. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. Open heart, open mind. That's an important one for you. Give me right? sugar. An environment that embraces and encourages razzle dazzle and the dream weave. Richie, enough. Please. Thank you. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, they are so funny. I love Richie, bro. He was so annoying the other season. That's my man's now, yeah. Yes, fucking surprise. Richie, no surprise. Yes, fucking fuck surprise. surprise. Stay the fuck out of the dream weave, Carmen. Let's go. Yes. One, two, three. Feliz cumpleaños. It might actually fucking work, though. Mm -hmm. You know, Carl, I'll be careful. Me. I'll be right back to clean this up. Fuck. That happens in every restaurant, though. Like, that exactly happens. like niggas don't drop shit. Like, why right, you drop your phone probably ten times today? That's not how that's put in the pot. Be helping Tina. Okay, sauce in the pan. Like Carmi said though, this is about to take all of them to a different level though, because once they start to really smooth this out. Introduce. Hands. Yes, chef. Take your time, chef. Okay, chef. And right the first time. Thank you, chef. Sous chef to the other sous chef. Aww. The sous chef she said to the she sous had sous it right the first time. Carmi mm -hmm. stressing on my shorty Tina, yeah. Hold it together, Tina. Doors. Because now this is a different type of stress she's dealing with, like from the bear, or from, from the bear, from the beef. You're going to take it to the table? Okay, you're going to pour the broth into the bowls, give them each a bowl, say this is our mirepoix broth. Okay, you got it? Yes, Chef. Good, go. Okay, careful. He about to drop that shit on the head. This is a broth from Chef Carmen's mind. Mirepoix and broth. I pour it in front of you. That's Chicago feel, though. Enjoy. He took the fucking pot. What is this guy doing? He didn't say give it to him. What are you doing? I poured it in front of him. Why the fuck is it back in here? Well, we're a restaurant. I back and serve the food. I got what the it. fuck is this? Come on. What are you thinking? Let's figure it out. Talk to your man. Figure it out. Keep my man out of your fucking figure mouth. You're not fully integrated. Don't talk to me until you're integrated, <laughs> Jack. You go back. You did it. You just didn't serve him the food. I know they was probably like, yo, my like, boy. Oh. We ordered that, my, my G. <laughs> what my you boy. Look at that shit right back. Of course. Here you are. End of the day, honey. We just got to get I know sugar I know. stress. Yeah, why isn't there a big, like, table right here? Big motherfucking uh, 12 was. top. Think are you it. sure you do not have to go again? It'll um, be a long ride. I'm good, I'm um. just asking. Hold it right there. 
Dina, P. Jones H. Damn, there's so many people coming for. He wanted that though. Jones H. All right, Ebra. Oh, oh my man, my man, oh. man was. Ted, I need a trash can. Where the hell are you, John H? We have 60 seats, five nights a week, 52 weeks a year. At two and a half turns, each seat is worth $113,750. $50. Some of the greatest restaurants in the world change their menu every day. You gotta figure it out. That's your job. Come on, Rich. They seen him in mode. That's what y'all wanted, right? Yeah, it's a fucking... Sydney was asking for the star. Not she was telling him like you're distracted. No, I'm not. I'm fully committed now. And y'all complaining now? I see why. I can see they side of it because he is like really intense, but like, bro, that's what y'all asked for. And he worked in those restaurants, so he know what it take to get there. I just got bought by it. Still waiting on two, please, Chef. T, how we doing? Chef! Uh, almost, Chef, almost. Fuck this. Nope. Go over there. Stop. Fire two Just listen. We're going to fire, okay? Probably gotta figure out how to talk to his employees though. Not everybody can deal with that. Plate. That's fix it that quick. Get hands, please. You gotta like that. Okay, um, hands. Two spring onions, Chad. Chad. See his eyes? He's in demon mode right now. Literally. <laughs> Nobody step in my way. Because we have to turn all the 732 tops as fast as humanly possible. We can do this. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Back to work. Yeah. You see everybody starting to get annoyed a little bit. Thank you so much for your patience. Just bear with us one more minute. OK. How are we doing? Hope you guys are having an amazing night. Um, you guys want to see the kitchen? Of course. Yeah. That's what happened when, they, when people sit down to be drinking. In our kitchen, we like to foster an environment of what we call vibrant collaboration. Carly so think is about, about that snap. as we come into the kitchen. Having to refire 15 times, Chef. 15. What? As you can see, a lot of energy. Thank you, chefs. Got them up out of there that quick. And then he plus. He stopped smoking, too. Yeah, that's another thing that's probably just like aggravating them. Man. Lamb with yogurt. Duck with apricot. Lamb with yogurt. Duck with cherry. Uh, rib cap with Bordelais. So we got see a duck with apricot see. condiment. Shit, no, sorry. Cherry you again with the red wine. Uh, happy Friday. They losing that. that Whereas, happy Monday. Yeah, that enthusiasm. It's like, damn, it's Friday, what? Doors! But, at, but Guys, what's the cost of getting this star, yes, though? Yeah. Sure, my sweet darling, I'm getting mm -hmm. fucking angina. Three restaurants? Fuck me thrice. What was I thinking? Making me crazy. Okay, I think that's going around. It's not the same bowl. It's fine. It's not fine, Richie. Fuck. Herman, it's handmade earthenware. Look at this. You There's can't see the variation. difference in this? Look at it. What am I supposed to it's say to him? He doesn't listen. He's a three-year-old with too many fucking crayons. Okay. Not your fault. <laughs> He's just a three-year-old with too many crayons. And that's facts, though. He's and everything. Chef said fire that rib. P3, no yeah. mushroom. Uh, wait, it is a notification? No, 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 no. Customer yeah. requests no mushrooms. It doesn't fucking matter. If he, he doesn't mushrooms. like mushrooms, doesn't have to eat the mushrooms. Yeah, it's just not about you, it's mushrooms. about the fucking okay. customer. Sid, fucking deal with him. Okay. The fuck out of here, Richie. I'm gonna send you the fuck home. Yeah, 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 send me the fuck home, huh? Fuck. They don't know which order. You pick it up. Pick it up. No, you fucking pick it up. Richie, fucking pick it up. Oh! Sorry. Sorry. I'm exploding. Nah, it's getting out of control. Yo! Orcs, remember that episode? Yeah. The fuck is going on? What, about to kill somebody? Oh my god. Have you been to New York City before? Tom has been there before. Have you ever been What's to Copenhagen? What's he doing? I mean, losing their minds, bro. How much every day? They need to take a like a week break, bro. Oh, oh, figure it, figure out. it out. Wow, why don't you fucking figure it out? I'm trying huh? to use less shit. Don't buy fucking crazy shit and then use it once, Carm. It's so wasteful, duh. Doors. Doors. Is this how it be in restaurants, bro? Boy's mine. He's Nah, it's not. 
It's not as bad as it used to be, though. I need fucking hands. Bro, you tweaking the fuck out. Yes, it is. This shit is worse than it was before. He wasn't down. They're doing better with customers, hands, but please. their overall health is worse, bro. Yeah. He about to snap. What the fuck? Hey, I need you to calm down. They're going too fucking slow. I am not asking. I'm not your fucking babysitter. Right back to Earth. Great, thank you. Can I get hands, please? He need her. They keep each other balanced, bro. He's... <gasps> he just got the waggle. I'm picking that bitch up. Door! 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 I like how they just ended that. Is that it? He's gonna let that be it. Everybody's waiting for the closing time now. It's just like yeah, they showed the open. They showed the open time it was five thirty, and everybody was excited. And now it's like everybody's looking just to leave. She better not run off again. Shit, I don't blame her this time. That's what they wanted. That's what she wanted. Right or wrong. All right, all right. Should be stressing me out. Like me sweating and shit. That was into episode three, guys. Just wanted to make this little analogy, man. You ever met somebody and they're like, yo, like if you ever play sports, they're like, yo, I want to get to the state championship this year. When the work come, it's like it's too overwhelming for them. And I think this is, I think that's Sid's situation right now. I wanted the star, but I don't think that was the most important thing for me. Like maybe just having a good environment in a restaurant is what she was really looking for. He's always on go mode, like that's what he's been around, that's all he knows. So when he's fully focused, he can't turn that off. Like all hell blazing, no slowing down, everybody have their shit together. We don't need any mistakes. If somebody messes up, like bro, you right back on it. I don't wanna hear no snapback, I don't wanna hear played it when i say refire refire the shit but he can't even blame because there's so much shit going on he listened to exactly what carmy said so like he can't be mad at him but nah, it just was stupid. it was stupid but like bro he probably so like walk he probably just walking on eggshells like bro whatever he say i'm gonna do like i don't know if i'm supposed to serve this shit to him or not man well it showed the clock and it was basically closing time and it just seemed like everybody is just waiting for the for the restaurant to close now everybody that works there is like they're starting to get frustrated there's too much going on everybody's confused everybody's confused except for carmy bro ever since like season two episode eight it's just been damn ever since season two the forks episode non-stop chaos you know what i mean and i think they're doing a really good job of trying to portray how it really is for like these higher five star four star restaurants the stuff that they go through in the back it's been stressful just watching these last couple episodes i feel like the blame isn't just on carmy it's on everybody if you enjoyed the reaction make sure you like the video comment down below us on your thoughts on it hit the subscribe button the bell kind of so notified we drop these videos we appreciate y'all thank y'all for a love on the youtube side man by the time you guys get this we should be around twenty thousand. so thank y'all like fifteen thousand five hundred to six hundred right now so until the next video the kids reacting